Meghan Markle is worried Prince Harry will be lured back into the fold, a royal family insider has claimed, with the couple understood to have received an invitation by the Queen to visit Balmoral Castle. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex agreed to drop their roles as working royals in the early part of 2020 as part of the Megxit agreement that saw the family move from the UK to the US. In June, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle made their first public appearance together in the UK in around two years when they returned for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. They only played a small part in the proceedings and were not present on the Buckingham Palace balcony for the annual Trooping the Colour flyover from the RAF, a moment that was reserved for working royals. Staff are now reportedly preparing for their visit to Balmoral in Scotland, one of the Queen's royal residences, later this year, alongside their young children Archie and Lilibet. But an insider has said this could be a bittersweet invite for Meghan who fears Harry may want to return to the UK one day amid claims from royal experts he is homesick. The source claimed the Duchess of Sussex doesn't doubt her husband's commitment to wanting to spend the rest of his life in the US, but worries over how these types of visits can pull at his heartstrings. The Balmoral Insider told Closer magazine, It's a bittersweet invite for Meghan. Because on one hand it fuels her and Harry's confidence that they are very much still part of the family. But after so much time away, she fears Harry will be lured back into the fold and want to return to the UK. Meghan doesn't doubt that Harry is committed to spending the rest of his life in America, but does have certain trepidation over how these types of visits can pull at his heartstrings. She's been aware of Harry's homesickness for some time and she can see just how excited he is to show more of his heritage to their children, without the attention and security fears that surrounded them in London. The insider added, it goes without saying he wants to spend as much time with his grandmother while he still can. So this offer is a big deal to him and it's one he's going to take up with open arms. It'll be such a treat to spend precious time with the Queen, and Harry would love to enjoy a pint in a British pub and spend time with his family in the countryside. He's really missed it. The invite from the Queen to Harry and Meghan has been seen as another olive branch extended to the couple. In a twist of events, Prince Harry and Meghan have been left off the Balmoral summer guests, despite staff being told to expect a full list of royals including the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Palace insiders reportedly told Page Six that the ex-working royals are not to be expected at the Queen's Aberdeenshire residency. The latest bombshell claim comes after we previously reported that the Queen's Scottish estate had been told to expect a full list of royals, including Harry. Meghan and their children Archie and Lilibet. The royal source previously told The Sun, staff have been told to expect the full list of royals including Harry, Meghan and their children Archie and Lilibet. They are preparing for the Sussexes. Balmoral is the perfect place for them to spend a little bit of quality time with the Queen. The 96-year-old monarch is to spend August and September in the Scottish retreat where she will be joined by family including the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and their three children. The move comes ahead of Harry's highly anticipated and controversial memoir which he warned will be accurate and wholly truthful. Harry and Meghan had spent little time with the Queen on her four-day celebrations for her Platinum Jubilee as Britain's longest reigning monarch. Their trip to the UK for the four-day celebrations also marked their daughter Lilibet finally meeting her great-grandmother for the first time. A royal expert revealed she believed Prince Harry was absolutely furious over his treatment during the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. Until 11 who penned the Duke of Sussex's biography, told The Sun, The thing that really stood out for me on that day was Harry's anger, he wears his emotions on his face and he looked absolutely furious. He could have been feeling lots of things, I don't know whether he had a wave of feeling at what he had given up. He is self-destructive and might regret what he has lost, maybe he was recalling bad memories and was wishing he hadn't come at all. He was recalling